guys are not going to believe what I'm looking at right now. You're never going to expect it. These are Today, we're going to be diving into my old backpack from seventh grade AKA my least favorite year of school ever. I didn't think that I kept my middle school backpack, but apparently I did. And it's definitely got some wear and tear and ugly stains. As you can see, that looks like foundation. And yeah, this has gone through war and back. 2011 to 2012 were the years that I was in seventh grade. I'm going to be going through this time capsule and we're going to see what things are inside. And I'm always kind of nervous to do these because truthfully, I don't know what I'm going to discover in here. The things I find inside are either going to make me smile and remember the good times or they're not gonna make me smile and it's going to make me think of how thankful I am to not be in seventh grade anymore. But you guys, before we get started, I have a challenge for all of you watching. I wanna see if you guys can like, click subscribe, and turn on post notifications in just five seconds. Here goes the countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. If you guys were successfully able to complete the five second challenge, then I want you to come down below. What is your favorite school lunch? I don't think I've ever asked that question before. I remember my favorite school lunch was popcorn chicken and mashed potatoes. I don't know if that's still a thing or not, but I loved that. And one thing I remember hating about school lunches was the fact that there was never any salt. And also you had to take a milk. You couldn't get juice unless you had like a weird excuse from the nurse saying you were lactose intolerant. I always had to get either chocolate milk or regular milk and they didn't even have water as an option. And I remember just like never loving milk. And so that was my least favorite part about school lunches. But anyways, without further ado, let's get straight into this video and see what items await us in this bag. I am kind of nervous. It's actually pretty heavy. Yeah, there's a lot of substance in here. So, okay, starting off, I already kind of showed you guys in the very beginning, but my backpack from seventh grade was blue and purple tie-dye with a rhinestone peace sign because peace signs used to be really cool. Not like this peace sign, but this peace sign. Um, and come to think of it, I'm pretty sure my backpack from sixth grade also had peace signs. Anyways, okay, so on the outside, I do have a little Bath & Body Works pocket back. This is what they used to look like. I miss this style so much where they weren't chubby and round. They were like this. Um, honestly, I used to collect these religiously, but once they changed the style of the pocket backs, I kind of stopped caring. The scent is Paris Amour and it's the sparkly version. And oh my gosh, okay, I'm gonna smell this. And I just know it's going to bring back a rush of memories. Oh my, wait a second. You know what, oddly enough, even though I did not like this year of school when I smell this, I think of all the good memories. This smell really reminds me of when I first started collecting Bath & Body Works. I literally used to have a YouTube channel devoted to Bath & Body Works, you guys. It was like my favorite thing in the entire world. So that was the first thing. Let's go through the front pocket. It seems like there's quite a lot in here and I'm really surprised because like I said, I didn't even think I kept this backpack, but I was wrong, so. We're just going to reach in and be surprised. Hmm. Ah! The first thing is really boring. It's just a pack of tissues. Next, I feel, I feel two pictures. Okay, these should be good or they might be really ugly, probably both. Um. <gasps> ah! Wait, I actually thought that I lost these. Oh my gosh, you guys are not going to believe what I'm looking at right now. You're never going to expect it. These are not school pictures, however. Raise your hand, literally use the emoji that's like raising its hand if you know the show Dance Moms. I was absolutely obsessed with them. And we actually went to their very first meet and greet that was at the original Abby Lee Dance Company studio because it was actually not that far away from where I live. And these are pictures that I have with Abby and Maddie Ziegler. Oh my gosh, who let me do my eyebrows? <laughs> so I'm gonna show you the one of me and Maddie first. Can you guys believe that that's me? And can you believe that I'm with Maddie? I specifically remember whenever we met them, I thought they were all so gorgeous and they were so tiny. Like they were like 
little. Even Brooke, who was the oldest, I think she was like 13. Yeah, 13. She was so small. Scotty, my brother, had the biggest crush on her, and he's actually in this picture. This is me, Scotty, and Abby Lee Miller. Can you guys see that a little bit? That is crazy. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and it was literally their first meet and greet. I remember we met the girls. We got their autographs, like their real authentic autographs. They were sitting at a table and they were giving autographs. And then they also had a dance class that you could attend. And you learned a little routine to the song Party, Party, Party from like the first episode of Dance Moms. It's like party, party, party. Da, 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 da. And my grandma, my mom, and my brother that came with me, they were in the viewing room where the moms would always sit and they were watching me. And I remember I was trying so hard, but there were girls in there that were like way better than me. And so I felt really, really awkward, but I was trying so hard. Anyways, that is so crazy. And I actually remember bringing these to school with me because obviously I wanted to show it off. And also I remember being so sad because the only girl that wasn't there was Chloe and her mom, Christy. Anyways, so wow. Okay, starting off strong. Let's see, we're gonna reach in again. Icebreakers, oh my gosh. I was obsessed with icebreakers. You know why? I'll tell you why. You were allowed to have like gum and mints in most classes in seventh grade. And to be honest, they were just kind of fun to suck on. Um, they gave me something to do. Usually I'd be very bored in class. So can anyone relate to that? Like anytime you get like a little snack or you have mints or anything, it just makes the day seem so much better. And then uh, this feels like lipstick. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Okay, who remembers when baby lips were like huge? They started to become big when I was in seventh grade going into eighth. Um, oh my gosh, this was, what's the name of it? Grapevine. They don't even make these anymore. I'm pretty sure they're discontinued. I haven't seen them in years. I collected these religiously. If any of you have been with me that long, comment below because I've been on YouTube for a while and I went through an era where I quite literally had a channel devoted to lip balm. I think it was called I Heart Lip Balm 01. All my videos are now private on there. So if you try to find it, there's nothing that really pops up. That's why. But yeah, baby lips. And then, oh boy, I already know what these are. I already know what these are. EOS lip balms. They were equally, if not more popular than baby lips. Yeah, I take that back. They were more popular than baby lips. These were two of the OG flavors. This was strawberry sorbet let me smell it oh my gosh i really used that look at it oh it smells like an old crayon box that does not smell good it used to smell good um and then i'm surprised i had this one because i never liked it this was medicated tangerine it was very healing but it always smelled like medicine so i didn't like it what the hold up that's shocking you guys that is shocking this actually does not smell like wax. It smells like it always smelled. It's pretty nasty. There's literally like flakes of my lip skin on it. Ugh. Anyway, two EOS lip balms. And I even had an Instagram account devoted to these. It was EOS lip balm XOXO. Again, it's, it's not there anymore. I deleted the account a long time ago. So don't even try finding it because you won't. Um, but I would take aesthetic pictures of them. And I was obsessed. I had like a hundred of them and I'm not kidding. All right, is that everything? No, okay. There is a rainbow loom bracelet because people were also obsessed with rainbow loom bracelets. You guys probably know what these are because I receive them in fan mail all the time, but the trend was like explosive. I remember always getting really crafty and creative and I tried making different styles. I would just spend hours in my bedroom creating them. And then, oh, oh my gosh. We have little earrings from Claire's. I remember always keeping the cardboard part so that I wouldn't lose them because I would always lose them. They're little sparkly pink unicorns. I'm actually surprised that I wore these because people in seventh grade would make fun of me for literally everything. Um, maybe I didn't wear them. Maybe that's why they're still on the little piece of cardboard. I don't know. No, you know what? I do remember. I had this friend, she ended up being fake, but We'll call her Ashley. It wasn't really her name, but we'll call her Ashley. I remember she gave me her entire earring collection because in gym class, she was talking about how she had all this jewelry she didn't want and she asked me if I wanted it. Oh my gosh, I remember there was so much she gave me and this was just a little piece of it. There's a lot in here, you guys. Stop. 
Okay. Literally. Okay, this is the most time capsule thing in this backpack. Holy guacamole, you guys. <laughs> this was like my main makeup product that I used in seventh grade. It was this Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse. And I remember I actually thought it was pronounced Dream Mati Mousse because I did these like horrible makeup tutorials in seventh grade that I posted on a YouTube channel that again, no longer exists. It was called like Sparks Fly 202. It, it's not existent anymore, so don't even try finding it. Um, but I specifically remember everyone making fun of me in the comments because I called it Dream Mati Moose. And um, I, I really tried to make the videos like super good quality, but they were horrible. But I tried. Guys, they don't even make this anymore. This is a vintage discontinued Maybelline product, kind of like the baby lips. Oh my gosh, this stuff was literally like putting frosting on your face. And I remember buying it because there was this girl in my class she was so pretty. She looked like a Barbie doll and I wanted to be her. Let's call her Addie. I remember asking her what foundation she used because her skin was like flawless and she told me it was this. And I thought, oh my gosh, if I use the same makeup as this girl, then I'm obviously gonna look like her. That was my logic in seventh grade. I would also do this horrible winged eyeliner because I thought that I'd look like Taylor Swift since I was like ultra obsessed with her in seventh grade. Um, yeah, it's not exactly how it worked. I didn't understand that. People had different facial features and just because you buy the same makeup, it doesn't mean you're gonna look like them. They literally don't make this anymore, you guys. It is extinct, it's expired. I think there's one more thing in here and it feels like a pack of gum. Ow, my hand. I literally wanna pause filming right now, take a picture of this and send it to my best friend from seventh grade who I still keep in touch with today because we used to eat this religiously and this is another thing that you cannot find anymore, you guys. This is actually insane. So this was the extra dessert delights apple pie gum. Oh my gosh. I remember they also had like mint chocolate chip and gosh, there was another one. I don't remember the other ones, you guys. I remember thinking it was the coolest thing because it was like eating dessert without actually eating dessert. And I would always eat this at the end of the day in literacy arts because we were 100% allowed to chew gum. So surprisingly, there's still some left. The whole center section is gone, but you know what's crazy? These pieces of gum don't feel like particularly stale. I feel like these used to smell more cinnamony. Um, so you can definitely tell that it's older. Do I dare try a piece? I'm going to, I could always spit it right back out. I just have to for nostalgic purposes. This is obviously like expired from a long time ago. I don't know if there's like an expiration date on here, but I kind of want to find out. Okay. Two seconds later. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Ah, I hope I don't die from doing that. Okay, so uh, never eat expired gum. Although I don't see an expiration date on here, clearly it's expired and you know how I know? A, it tasted horrible and B, it was just like chewing mush. Like it didn't even form into gum because it's so old. There's still little pieces of it on the back of my teeth. I mean, keep in mind, I literally bought this in like 2011, 2012. This is just like mind boggling to me. Ew, there's like nasty stains in here. Do you see that brown stuff? That's probably makeup, honestly, but still, ew. So that is officially everything that was in the front pocket. However, we are far from being done with this. We're gonna go to the main section back here and I can feel a lot of stuff. So let's be brave and go through this thing. Oh, the zipper's like broken. Like somehow the tip literally came off. Do you guys see this? Wait, it's hard to even pick up. It's broken. How that happens, I don't know. I'm going to try not to look at it, even though it's so tempting. Like I want to look in so badly, but okay, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to reach in and uh, let's see. What is this? Composition notebook, squishy tails. Oh my gosh. So if you didn't know this about me already, if you're new to the channel or you just didn't know this about me, when I was younger, I used to collect these pencil toppers called squishies that you could get from vending machines. They had their own website, squishland.com. They were my life. And so <laughs> I was very innocent in seventh grade still. I think my intention was to make stories up about squishies. And um, I don't know, I just thought it'd be fun because I used to write books. What the heck? I put plot. Needs to marry a young man before the great glory of next fall. And then I put a little note that says, 
I'm probably going to be 16 when I look back at this as if that was so old. Oh my gosh. This is what I wanted the plot of the story to be. Let's listen to that one more time. Needs to marry a young man before the great glory of next fall. <laughs> I tried to be so wordy. Anyway, so it... Oh my gosh, this is golden. So it looks like I never made up that glorious story that I was hoping to. But what I did do was I made little journal entries of what I did each day. And this literally was from 2012. Like this one says, Monday, June 4th, 2012, 8.42 p.m. Um, this is me being very vulnerable. I don't know what I wrote about here. I'll read a couple of them to you. This was a good day apparently because I said today was a five star day. I got to get up at 7.30 a.m. instead of 6.40 a.m. because mom let me miss tech ed. I was so happy. Then I came in during social studies. We are presenting our animations. I was feeling very confident about presenting mine. I actually volunteered. Everyone laughed at mine, which was a good thing. They were supposed to. Then I went to all the rest of my subjects. In science, I'm not gonna use this person's real name. I'm just gonna call him Mike. Mike was like, Kayla's the only one that wasn't laughing. Then Chucky said, I know she's always so serious. And then I said, I wasn't paying attention. And then Miranda was like, Well, I guess she never pays attention. And I was like, mm-hmm. So yeah, I can't wait to get out of that school. Four more days, thank God. Then I can come home and do what I typically do. Good night. So, ugh, gosh, I am literally, thank you God that I am not in seventh grade anymore. Like that was a five-star day. And even then kids would just, they would always just pick on me because I was always more quiet, more reserved in school. Um, and quite frankly, that was because I just wasn't vibing with most people that were around me. They were always very, snarky and sarcastic and judgmental and I just didn't like it. So let me see if I could find like a one star day. That was also a five star day. I was very optimistic. Jeez, I wrote like a lot in some of these. Four star day. Oh my gosh. Sometimes I would put little souvenirs in the journal entries and look, this is so flattened out, but I used to love Warhead candies and I had a Warhead wrapper in here. Ew. I just read like a, a tiny little section of a page and it's definitely not appropriate to read because I was basically referencing something that a classmate of mine was shouting. Um, yeah, that'll happen in seventh grade. Again, you go in innocent and you leave knowing more than you would have wanted to. Wow, almost every day was a five-star day. This was a four-star day. I'm trying to find a bad day because I feel like that would be juicy and interesting. You know what, we'll just read this one. Friday, June 1st, 2012. Today was a five-star day. So for first period, I was so humiliated. I could not find my document and it was even more embarrassing because Jenna kept looking at the picture of me that I failed to minimize. I remember this, this was in tech ed. I remember we had to do some project where we made like a magazine cover and I could not for the life of me figure out how to shrink the image and I was too shy and embarrassed to ask for help. And I remember this teacher would also kind of embarrass you if you, weren't paying attention and you asked a question about something that he already went over in class. So I just kept my mouth shut. So basically I was saying I was embarrassed because my classmate was like looking at how I didn't know how to shrink the image and I didn't speak up. And it was the ugliest picture ever taken of me. Okay, well anyway, hmm. oh yeah, English. We got our notes that we wrote to ourselves back from the beginning of the year. I had hardly changed a bit, LOL. Then in literacy arts, we watched this video about Coco, a gorilla. I liked it. Oh yeah, also in intro, I was happy because Megan said she liked my hair. I remember Megan, she was like popular, but she wasn't mean. She was like the only nice popular kid. So then I came home and oh, by the way, Jamie wasn't at school. That was my best friend in seventh grade. Um, we went to go get Chinese with my mom. And whenever we were leaving, apparently my mom said that this boy was staring at me. So then basically the rest of the night I made YouTube videos and texted. Only five days left of school, good nights. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm gonna read one more. These are so interesting. I'm going to read like all of them off camera at some point because this is literally bringing me back in time. Like if I didn't write these things out, I would have never remembered these little details, you know what I mean? Sunday, June 3rd, 9.37 p.m. Today was a four star day. I woke up at 10 a.m., got a shower, and then my family searched for the Wii sensor. Does anyone remember Wii? Like Mario Kart Wii, Wii Sports. Anyway, we searched for the Wii sensor and Scott and I played Mario Kart for a while. Then we got into a fight. 
Oh yeah, we also watched a ghost show. Then my mom took me to Target and I got the vacation pack of Squinkies because it had a rare in it. Squinkies were kind of like squishies. They were these little itty bitty collectible items. Um, then I made a YouTube video of me opening them. Then Jamie came over. We sorted my squishies by mania together. Then I got all depressed for a bunch of reasons. One was, I'm ugly. Two, I could not get my school animation done. And three, I was worried about being behind in tech ed. And also mainly because I looked ugly in my picture for tech ed. So yeah, that's about it. Okay, bye, good night, five days of school. Wow, yeah guys, there are so many entries in here, but I don't wanna read too many because I don't wanna make this boring. Although I think the entries are very interesting. Um, So wow, that's crazy. Like. I forgot just how much I would compare myself to other people in seventh grade. Like it was just such an awkward year. I remember my skin was always so oily and I would always be having breakouts and I'd see other girls in my class with clear skin. And I'm like, what the heck? Why me? Um, and I just didn't have much guidance either on like how to do my hair and makeup. I feel like that's pretty normal for, you know, most middle schoolers, except today I feel like middle school girls are so much more advanced and they just grow up a lot faster. Even though seventh grade sucked for me, I'm really happy that I grew up when I did because I mean, you even heard in the entry, I still collected squinkies and I feel like that would definitely be frowned upon or judged, you know, today. I mean, it probably would have been back then too, but I just didn't care because the most important thing to be is yourself, even if other people don't accept you for it because would you rather be a version of yourself that you don't know and love or would you rather be yourself and know in your heart that you're expressing yourself the way that you want to um and if other people don't like it that's kind of their problem you know and i always tell callie this but if people at school are judging you and being mean to you and just always picking on you it's like you gotta ask yourself why are they paying so much attention to me if i'm so cringy or awkward or ugly or whatever it's probably because they don't think too highly of themselves and they're insecure so they project their insecurities onto you let's keep going through this because there's a lot what the heck what is this i'm trying to figure it out is this tape oh my gosh you guys it's mustache duct tape does anyone remember the mustache trend mustaches used to be like really trendy i know so weird but 2012 was the year for mustaches and also making duct tape creations me and my friends especially my youtube friends that i would facetime because I, I had a channel back then and i made friendships with other people who had channels similar to mine we would always make duct tape wallets and bracelets and oh my gosh there were so many things that you could do with duct tape so well this in itself just takes me back to that year 2012 next i have no idea what this is oh my gosh bubbles ice cream bubbles i remember these came in packs of three and you can get them at the dollar store and they were scented they smell like nothing wow the soap is still good me and my friend jamie were obsessed with bubbles and you know what ironically i still love bubbles and so does callie so bubbles never go out of style what is this Chunky necklaces used to be the thing. I used to watch this YouTuber named Bethany Moda. She used to go by Mac Barbie 07 back in the day. She's actually the one who inspired me to start up my YouTube channel again because I quit for a while because I got cyberbullied. But I went to one of her meet and greets and she inspired me to come back. Anyways, I remember she always had chunky necklaces like this. And this was from Charlotte Roos. I don't even know if that's a store anymore. Let me know if you guys have one. Wow, this brings back so many memories. Like imagine wearing this today. Anyways, let's see. Next, uh, what is this? Oh my gosh. I could remember trying to find this so many times and being so frustrated because I couldn't figure out where I put it. Oh my gosh, how does this still light up? You definitely probably can't tell because of the studio lights but this was a one direction bracelet I don't even think it's gonna fit me anymore oh wow somehow it still does I have pretty small wrists but you've probably heard of one direction before it was a group of five boys and they sung all these really popular songs and people were just obsessed with them so there was Louie Niall, Zayn, Harry, and Liam, and everyone always had a favorite. I know most people always loved Harry Styles the most, 
but I always really liked Louie. My best friend, Jamie, was obsessed with Liam, and everyone always had a different favorite. I had a One Direction poster. I had a shirt that said Future Miss Tomlinson, which was Louie's last name. Oh my gosh, this is really cringe. Maybe one day I'll find this for you guys and show you. Um, but I specifically remember I would find like images of him online and I would cut out his body and then I would cut out a picture of me and <laughs> I would make edits of us like kissing. That's so cringy. But I remember thinking it looked so real and I would make it my background and I just thought I was like a really cool teenager when I did that. I also loved the song Little Things just like I will let these little things slip out of my mouth but if I do it's true, oh it's you, they add up to, I'm in love with you, and all these little things. My gosh, memories! You're insecure, don't know what for, you're turning heads when you walk through the door, don't need makeup to cover up, being the way that you are is enough, everyone else in the room can see it, everyone else but you. What other songs were popular? So get up, get up, get out of my head, fall into my Okay, anyways, okay, not trying to take 20 minutes with every item. I know you guys have a life and so do I, but you know, this is fun right now. So sometimes you gotta take extra time for things in life that make you happy. Stop, is this a phone? It's definitely a phone. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is my old iPhone, you guys. Well, actually, it was kind of my dad's, but then he gave it to me. I couldn't really do anything on it. Um except for like take pictures and i had like this stupid rock stacking game it's dead it's deader than dead i don't even have a charger for it i wish i did but yeah it's like the old square thick charger i should order one off of ebay or something because i want to know what's on here like really bad um it'll probably be really mortifying but i'm still curious you know oh wow we have a maybelline master precise liquid eyeliner that is obviously dried out. So, okay, fun fact. Like I mentioned before, I would do these obnoxious wings on my eyes because I wanted to look like Taylor Swift, right? Except I didn't know when enough was enough. So my wing would go out to like hear you guys and I'm not kidding. And my mom let me get a double ear piercing if I promised to not wear my eyeliner like that anymore. That was literally the deal we made. So she basically bribed me with something that I really wanted, which was a second piercing. So it must've looked that bad. Anyways, let's see, is this a sock? No, it's a whole shirt, what? <gasps> I think a dust particle just got in my eye, hang on. A few moments later. No guys, I'm not okay right now. Why is this so stretched out? This was my favorite thing in the entire world. Holy moly, it's an Abby Lee Dance Company sweater that I wore all the time. I don't know why the neck is like that. Was it supposed to be an off the shoulder thing? I don't know, but it literally looks like Abby Lee Miller herself wore this or something because like, what? Anyways, I cannot believe this was in here. I was hoping it would smell like that era of my life, but it basically just smells like dust in an attic. Um, <laughs> so, wow. Hold on a second. There's another something in here, some type of clothing. I can't tell what it is. Let's find out. Wait, what? Wait, hold on. I thought that these were lost and gone for good. You gotta be kidding me. These were my Abby Lee Dance Company shorts. Look at the little logo. I'm pretty sure I got these at the meet and greet. I don't remember, but oh my gosh, I like lived in these. I felt so official and I remember always practicing my dance and gymnastics moves in these shorts and this is so embarrassing but I specifically remember always feeling so cool when I had my Abby Lee Dance Company gear on and I had this tumbling mat, right? I would always put it in the grass near my house where cars would always come. And I hadn't quite mastered a back handspring yet. So what I would do when I would start seeing a car coming by, I would literally go like this and act like I was about to do a back handspring so that people would think I was like really advanced and cool, just like the girls on dance moms. Like literally, I would go like this. I'd go, and, and I wouldn't actually do it. I would wait until they were about to pass me. 
Um, and then they think like, Oh man, I missed her trick. She's like so cool. And she goes to the Abby Lee Dance Company. Spoiler alert, I never went to the Abby Lee Dance Company. I just wanted people to think that. So um, yeah, that was fun. I would also get fake eyelashes from the dollar store and I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't even know you're supposed to glue them on. They're always slightly tacky when you get them. So I would just try to put them on with a little bit of tackiness that they naturally come with. They would be lopsided. I looked like Vivi and herself from Dance Moms when she would have eyelashes. No hate towards Vivi. She was iconic and hilarious. But you know, her mom didn't always do the best job at doing her stage makeup. But I would always tell my friends like, Oh my gosh, um, so I'm filling in for one of the girls on Dance Moms and this is my competition makeup. I'd FaceTime them and I'd think, oh my God, they're obviously gonna believe me because I have my Abby Lee gear on that you totally can't order online. And like my eyelashes, do you see them? Yeah, that's, um, I know that's not good to do, but I did. And I also would do this technique where, okay, so I used to have a big gap in between my teeth. And I would get Coolgate Total white toothpaste to conceal the gap and then I'd smile for a picture and it would stay on just long enough for me to get that picture. And then of course I'd put like a filter on it so it was less obvious. And I would tell everyone that that was my flipper. Like they have those in beauty pageants if your teeth aren't perfect. It's like basically fake teeth that you wear. And I said that I had that for dance competitions. I told a lot of little white lies in seventh grade. Anyways, okay, let's keep going. Enough side stories, although I'll probably tell you another side story in like two seconds, but um, what? Oh my gosh. Teen Vogue. It's a Teen Vogue magazine with Miss Taylor Swift herself. Miss Taylor Allison Swift. Oh my gosh, mega beauty special, be your prettiest, amazing hair, perfect skin, easy makeup, back to school style, the ultimate denim guide, 77 looks for every body and budget. Oh my gosh, this was when her Speak Now album was out. It literally says right here, Speak Now, Taylor Swift in her own words, plus win concert tickets. Dude, this is like, remember when this Neutrogena liquid makeup was popular? This in itself is the time capsule. Oh my God. Remember when Taylor Swift was the cover girl model? Look at this. <gasps> Holy guacamole. This is actually so cool. And there's all these pictures of like what the style was like then. Glam red carpet style, three hit albums and an epic summer tour. Is there anything America's sweetheart Taylor Swift can't do? Oh my gosh, that's when she only had three albums. And these were apparently like the cool back to school looks. Um... You know what's crazy? I feel like, does anyone even read magazines anymore? I know for a fact that I had this for like study hall when I had some extra time, I would look at this magazine. I don't know if I got it from school or the grocery store or what, but I do remember reading these. I genuinely don't even know if stores have magazines anymore. I'm sure they do. I mean, they do. But does anyone even buy them anymore? Unless you're like 60. If you do, I'm not judging you. I genuinely am just curious because I feel like, you know, all the news updates you ever need to see are just on your phone with the touch of a button and you have everything you need and it's right there and you don't have to pay for it. I wish this had a date somewhere. I'm sure it does. It says August, like on the corner, it says August. Oh my gosh, 2011. Dang, okay, I'm going to treat that with care. So I actually do wanna look through that later. Anyways, let's keep going through this. There's still more, believe it or not, this video is gonna be really long. Um, Two Bath and Body Works. <gasps> Okay, two Bath & Body Works hand sanitizers. I'm really excited about this one in particular and I'll show it to you in a second. But we have Candy Cane Bliss and it's kind of like watery because of how old it is. Yeah, it barely smells like anything anymore. But since mint is a very strong scent, you can smell a little bit of it still. Um, and then Lunchbox Honey Pretzel. This is the one that my best friend gave to me. Um, this was like the most hyped up Bath & Body Works item in the entire world for pocket back collectors. This was like the god of hand sanitizer. Um, and it might sound crazy to some people that, you know, people collected these, but they did. And I remember um, one time I paid like $40 for one on eBay and then I resold it for like 70. Sounds insane, right? I know. That is how popular this was. I'm about to smell it and feel so many ways. Oh my gosh. Stop. This gives me such a rush of nostalgia. Yeah, this was from, it's called the Lunchbox Collection that was released in the year 2011. It just smells so buttery and bakery-like, which was 
not a common sense in a hand sanitizer and there was nothing quite like it with a lot of other bath and body works products you would be able to find dupes but this one was special and unique and everyone wanted to trade for it everyone was paying top dollar for it does anyone remember that again probably very few people will let's keep going i think we're almost done never mind never mind we are not done um, oh, that's boring. Okay, we just have a calculator that somehow still works. Do you guys remember when people would try to spell things out using a calculator? Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Like you'd type something out and like hold it upside down or it would just look like it spells something out even though it's just a bunch of numbers. Yeah, comment below if you know what I mean. Anyways, the next thing has pages. What is this? <gasps> Oh, so I'm not gonna show the front because it does say the name of my school, which I'd like to keep private. Even though I don't go there anymore, it's just something I'd like to keep private. But this was like an end of the year recap thing from seventh grade. Something I learned in seventh grade that I didn't know before. I did not know that you were able to divide fractions. I also did not know that Miss Boop did not hate me and she actually liked me. I did not know that school would end so fast. Something I always forgot. I always forgot that I cannot roll my eyes. Guys, I'm not kidding. I literally put, I always forgot that I could not roll my eyes. Wow. I must have had some attitude. Funniest moment. My funniest moment was when Mr. S flipped over a desk because he was being really mean that day. <laughs> he was walking backwards. I remember that. He was being so rude and he was going, shh as he was walking backwards and there was like a little desk behind him and he literally flipped over it because he was walking backwards and not paying attention. That's so crazy. All right, and then what is this? Dear Kayla, oh my gosh. Wow, I'm not going to read the entirety of this, but so I remember me and my best friend, Jamie, would always write each other notes during school when we had free time. And then we would give each other those notes at the end of the day on just like this loose leaf lined paper. And this is one that she wrote to me. I'll read the first few sentences so you guys get a gist of, you know, what it was like. She put, Dear Kayla, I'm sitting in a math class and I'm very bored. We're learning about alarm systems for some reason. It's now 9.20. I'm so mad. Apparently, I have to come up for lunch to do a quiz. She is such a witch. I'm now eating fruit snacks at 9.25. Just goes on and on and on and on and on and on. I remember that so well. Okay, so it feels like there's one more paper. Oh my gosh. Look at this, you guys. Kayla Drawl, September 28th, 2011, period nine. This was literacy arts. And I loved literacy arts because A, the subject wasn't like excruciatingly boring. And B, I had an awesome teacher, but the kids in there were really like scary and mean. Anyway, oh my gosh. I remember you had to put images of your favorite things at the time. So Squishland, Squishy Pencil Choppers, I loved ice cream. And then that's me in Annie. If you guys have ever heard of Annie the Musical, that was a picture of me doing that. Family tree, most interesting relative. I put my grandma, my heroes. This should be interesting. My real life hero is Sherry. So Sherry was my next door neighbor at the time. Um, and it's crazy because I am actually the same age that she was when I first met her. But I put my real life hero is Sherry because she's so nice to everyone. She's my neighbor. She's like a sister to me. I can always trust her. Yes, I love Sherry. She was always so warm and kind to me. She was just like so cool. And she was so pretty. I thought she looked like Taylor Swift. My cartoon slash comic book hero is Popeye the Sailor Man. Oh my gosh. I certainly was not afraid to be myself in seventh grade because he is always determined and he is an old cartoon, but he's awesome. I always loved vintage things ever since I was a kid. My my TV hero is Brooke, Brooke Hyland from Dance Moms, because she's a very determined dancer and she is tough and also works very hard. My movie hero is Ramona from Ramona and Beezus because she is silly and her personality is very funny. If I could be anyone for one day, it would be my neighbor Sherry because she has a really nice husband. She is pretty and everyone likes her. Music group, Black Eyed Peas. Ah! Male singer, Eminem. Female singer, you guessed it, Taylor Swift. Song Hours by Taylor Swift. Oh my gosh, actor Drake Bell. Actress, Joey King. Comedian, Ellen, like Ellen DeGeneres, wow. Um, teacher, Miss, I'm not gonna say her name. Um, relative, Heather, my cousin. Friend, Jamie, hobby, dancing, video game, Mario Kart. Sport to watch, hockey, sport to play, hockey. I've never played hockey, I don't know why I put that. Um, athlete, Jordan Stahl, he was a hockey player on the Penguins. Kind of pet, bird, wild animal, squirrel, TV show, dance moms, movie, Coraline, still love Coraline, it's my favorite thing. Um, shoes, my black boots, oh boy. Vacation spot, Disney, tree, evergreen, 
Flower, Rose. Place, Five Below. Book, Coraline. Author, Neil Gaiman. Color, Pink. Food, Chinese. Restaurant, Sesame Inn. Soft drink, root beer, snack, popcorn, cookie, oatmeal raisin, vegetable, potato, fruit, pineapple, ice cream flavor, birthday cake, candy bar, Carmelo. I forgot about those. I haven't had one in a hot minute. Cereal Special K, Season Winter. Wow, am I surprised. It's definitely fall now. Month, December. School subject, English. Boy name, Alex. Girl's name, Christina. Car. I just put SUV. <laughs> I thought that was literally like a brand of car, you know, not like a type, like a size. Friendship facts. Jamie is my best friend because we have a lot in common and she's very kind and open to me. Some of my other friends include... Oh boy, I'm not gonna say their names again, just for privacy reasons. The qualities that I look for in a friend are if they are honest, friendly, social, fair, and funny and talkative. The qualities that make me a good friend are that I am kind, social, and funny. The things I like to do with my friends include talking, shopping, laughing, dancing, gossiping, and hanging out. Friendship is very important to me because you have someone to talk to and be with you when things are tough. Aw. One of my favorite memories that I had with my friend is when me and my friend Jamie had a sleepover at my house and we stayed up until 7 a.m. I cannot believe I would do that willingly. If I had three wishes, oh, okay, this is interesting. If I had three wishes, this is what I would wish for. I would wish for all the squishies in the world. Wow. I would meet and be with Taylor Swift for the whole entire day. I would be very young again and stay that way forever. Oh. As if I wasn't young in seventh grade. I do remember always like never wanting to grow up. I would always be so jealous of my brother Scott because even though he was only three and a half years younger than me at the time in seventh grade, it always seemed like he was so much younger and he got babied a lot more. And I was always really jealous of that. There's one more page. Let's see. Is it interesting? No, it's just how she graded me. I got 48 out of 50. Not bad. So there's that. Wow, that just brings back so many memories. A lot has changed, but like a lot has stayed the same. So, oh, I just had to look. Oh my gosh! Squishland Mystery Mix, you guys. I would get these from Five Below all the time. These are the things I would collect. Squishies, do I open it or not? I don't know what to do. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I have an unopened one. I think we have to open it. Oh my gosh, you guys. So we have like a little collector's guide. OMG! Okay, so they come in capsules like this. This is a cow. Oh my gosh, I haven't done that in such a long time. That is insane. It, they literally smell like they always did. Oh my gosh. So I remember the cow was my friend Jamie's favorite. I'm gonna put him back in his capsule. And I remember they had these little codes for squishland.com and I would save all of them. Okay, the next one is an octopus. Oh my gosh. This is like making my inner child so happy right now. Oh my gosh, I always loved the octopus. He was one of my favorites and he would always stick to your finger. I'll show you. See, he'd always suction to your finger. All right, the next one I think is a rare. Yes, I bet it's gonna be a rare frog. Let's see. No, it was a rare monkey. And how you could tell if it was a rare, they have like extra paint. And uh, the monkey always had like a little leaf backpack. So there's the monkey. Doing this makes me want to collect them again. I'm not actually going to, but it just, it makes me feel like comforted, you know? And I think that's why people love nostalgic YouTube videos and nostalgic toys, because it just, it gives you a sense of like comfort and familiarity. They're all rolling out. Let's open this one. It's a clownfish. I remember these were like $5 a tube at five below and I loved them. So there's the little clownfish. He was from the Sea Mania one. Yeah, they all had manias, like collections manias. And I remember always asking people to vote on their favorite squishy. I'd get one of each in perfect condition that I had for my collection. And I would literally knock on neighbor's doors and ask them to pick their number one favorite squishy or their top three. I would always switch it up, but I always thought it was so fascinating to see what people gravitated towards. And little side story, since we're you know talking about seventh grade, I remember, um, I think it was like the very first week of school, I brought in my little tub of squishies, one of each character, because I wanted my friends, my friends, to vote on their favorite. And I guess over the summer, they decided that they were just too cool for me because I was sitting by them and I remember them being kind of quiet. They didn't talk to me much, but I just dealt with it because I didn't know anyone else at the time. Um, so I specifically remember saying, hey guys, can you all vote on your favorite squishy? And I remember um, passing the box of squishies with the voting card to my one friend. 
she didn't even look at it and she just slid it to the next friend. And then that friend slid it to the next friend. And I think there was only three of them. Yes. So basically they all just passed it to each other without even looking at it at all or acting interested or even saying, no, thank you. They didn't say anything to me. They just passed it along without even looking and then gave it back to me. And it hurt my feelings so bad. And I felt so embarrassed because I was so excited and they didn't even give me the time of day. And then I think after that, I kind of got the hint like, okay, they obviously hate me now. Um, so I never sat with them again, but it was really, really awkward and weird to have to learn it that way. I don't know if they thought they were too cool for me or I don't know. They just decided to like team up against me and they completely ignored me. It was horrible. Yeah, seventh grade, you really find out who your true friends are and people change a lot. But all right, let's see. We're gonna open the blue capsule now. I was gonna guess it was the sheep. This was the ultra rare. So the one in the red was always the rare and then the blue was the ultra rare. And I remember there were six different ones you could get. So there's that. And then the last one is a turtle. And I always loved the turtle. That was always a favorite of everyone. All right, guys, let's keep going. I think we are almost done because this backpack is very, very light now compared to what we started with. Um, oh my gosh, it's my old iPod. What? Guys, this is crazy. I so wish I had a charger, but I'm pretty sure this does not work anymore because I forget what happened, but I remember um, I was in the car and all of a sudden my iPod just showed the Apple logo and then it said plug into iTunes and I could never get past that point. It's like it, it just, the system just shut down. I can't even describe what happened. It just decided to stop working one day and everything was lost on my pictures on my videos that happened twice with my ipods i don't know why but probably nothing to really see on there anyway if my memory serves me correctly but oh okay so we have just some random squishies at the bottom this one has certainly seen better days he's been through a lot look this was literally me at the end of my seventh grade year yep same um and then we have this little panda these were the jumbos and then this was like a rare cow and then uh, what is this? Oh, we have another Maybelline baby lips in here. This was in very berry. <gasps> Stop, wait. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is very oddly specific, but when I smelled this, oh, wait, okay. I have not put this on since seventh grade. This brought me back to a very specific memory of, oh my gosh, there was this Taylor Swift song that I always listened to. It was crazier. It was like, you lift my feet spin me around you make me crazier crazier oh my gosh it reminds me of playing that song and doing squishy trades with my youtube friends and uh, i don't know going out to you with my grandma a lot like so oddly specific like literally i want you guys to just do something for me after watching this video go find an old perfume an old hand sanitizer an old candle whatever that you used a lot during a certain era of your life like at least from two years ago um smell it and then just tell me what memories come back for you it's crazy when you do that like literally it's so cool how scent in itself can just be a time capsule like you smell it and then your brain just unlocks all of these beautiful or not so beautiful memories but i feel like usually for me the most happy memories will come up for me country chic bath and body works fragrance mist i again was such a bath and body works girly in seventh grade um is that it Wait, there is something I missed. No, never mind. That's the dream mat mousse. Um, is this everything? Hang on. Is there any other pockets? Oh, wait, one more thing. It's a sweet pea pocket back hand sanitizer. And I never liked this one. I really think it smells like a funeral home. Um, I was probably just trying to use it up. But I am just going to triple check that I didn't miss out on anything, you guys. Because that would be sad if I did. Nope. That was everything. Thing. I am so happy that I found it and that I was able to share with you guys everything that was inside because I know how much you love these what's in my backpack videos but I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did then please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you in the next video bye Mwah.